Hi, welcome to this SQL tutorial video. Today we're going to look at if statements. Now an if statement is a way of adding logic in your SQL so that if a particular condition is true, it, it does a particular action. So in my example I've got here, I've got a, a variable declared here called opt. Um, it's an integer and I give it a value of one. So what I've got below here is a statement that says if opt equals one execute that piece of code and if i run this it there's one and if i change this value to be something different it doesn't run that piece of code it just runs the sequel and that's what we've got here so in this example rather basic example if opt equals one run this but now let's imagine i want to add a second condition here. Um, so if it's true, run this. If it's false, run something else. So I'm going to say else select not true. Oh, honestly, if I could type. So I'll move this back to one. Because opt equals one, it's run that piece of SQL there. And if I change this to break this here, so it's no longer true, it should run the second piece here. Not true. Now I've written this if statement in a very basic way, um, but there are kind of rules like anything in SQL. There's rules when it comes to if statements. So one of the important rules is the way I've written this, when you have this if logic, if it's true, it will only run the next block of code. Okay. So in this example, if it's true, it'll run this select. If it's false, it'll run this select. But as soon as it's run, the next bit of logic, the next bit of code, the next command, it will then be no longer in the if statement block. And let me try and give you an example here. So I'm going to do that, and it should error. Okay, I've got an error here, and if I hover over it, it says is. It's not very helpful ever particularly incorrect syntax which i know it is incorrect but it's not very clear why and if i try and run it i should get an error message here it's not a very helpful error message this but what it means is you've got two individual selects in this um part of the if statement and it doesn't allow that you only allowed one block of code within your if statement the way that I've written it anyway. There's ways of getting around it, which I want to touch on in a minute. But if I just comment that out, um, everything should work now. But if I put here a select to here, it accepts that. There's no error. Everything's fine. And I can run it and it will work. And let me just show you, um, if we leave this as two, so this is false. So it will run this bit here. If I run that, not true and two, perfect. Now though, if I change this to one, run that, it's got one and two. And that might look odd, but it's because of what I was just saying, where after this logic, it will run the first select and only it, it'll only allow us one block of code, one block of a command. Then else, it's got this command. After that, it's no longer an if statement. After that, it's the rest of the SQL. So me having this SQL here is a little bit confusing. What actually is happening here is that's the if block. And then I've got this bit of SQL below here. So this bit of SQL will run regardless. Um, and these two bits of SQL will only run depending on this if statement. So this is not part of the if statement, which is why it it returns two regardless of what um, the value of this parameter is, this variable. So if I change that back to two, it runs that regardless. Now let's imagine actually I want it to only run this if um, this is false. So let's put this back to where it was. In order to run more than one command following uh, an if condition check, you need to do a begin and end. So I'm going to do, if I won't put it there, I'll put it here. 
begin, end. Now what that means is this here is the block as part of the if statement. So if it's true, run this. If it's false, run everything between the begin and end. And I can ha I can add loads and loads of um, a bit here. So if I run this when it equals one, I'll get select one. And if I change it, I'll get select not true, two and three. So this is now part of the if statement and it's part of the else bit of the if statement. Now you can have multiple if statements here. So you could say else if opt equals two. And then else. Um, I'll just do that. Um, so now this check will say if it's if it's one, run that. If it's two, run that. If it's three, run all of that. So if I just change that, so it, well, we'll leave it at two. It returns two, and if we change it to be something other than one or two, it runs this bit. Um, so at any point, I could add a begin in here, and. So if I change this back to one, I've added an extra select in there, and there you go, one in here. Um, it's also worth noting, I think, that you can add an if statement and have it all on one line. So if I do, no, oh, well, I'll put one. Oh. So if I run this, we get the hello, and we get one, and we get here. So that equals one, so it's run that, then it's run that. And if I change that to two, oops, excuse me, then it's run that, and if I change it to be neither one nor two. So that's just an example of where you can kind of put it on, on a single line. Um, you don't need to... I mean, this is kind of helpful when you want to see which bits of the SQL you're going to run based on the logic. But nice and tidy, if it's just a single, if this is true, do this, where you can just stick on a single line. Um, that's the end of this video. Just a quick video on if statements. Hopefully you found it helpful and useful. Any comments, um, any feedback, it's all helpful, so please leave it. Um, thanks very much for your time. See you next time.